Today I'm going to explain a colostomy and an ileostomy. But first let's take a brief review of the GI tract so you'll know how the stomach's working. Okay, you chew your food and it goes down your food pipe or your esophagus into your stomach. From your stomach, the chewed up food travels through your small intestines. Now your small intestines are about 16 to 18 feet and their job is to absorb the vitamins and the nutrients out of the food. In other words, your small intestine's eating for you. So after the food travels through your small intestine, it goes through the area known as the cecum, where the appendix is located, and gets to the large intestine, or the colon. Now the colon drinks for you. What I mean is, it absorbs the water out of the food as it's passing along. So as that food is passing along through the colon, it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker until it exits the body in the rectum. Now, if there was a case of an abdominal, abdominal obstruction, or perhaps colon cancer, and the doctor needed to perform a surgery to let the lower half of the colon rest, he could do a surgery called a colostomy. With this surgery, he separates the colon, like so, and can sew one end of it shut, or can completely remove the rest of the colon. Now, the doctor's got to do something, because you've got food going in this end, stool coming out this end. So what the doctor does is very simple. On the outside of the body, the doctor makes a small incision. He takes the open end of the colon, he pulls it through that small incision, and he folds it over and he sews it down on itself. Now this creates something known as a stoma, S-T-O-M-A, stoma. And this is how the stool is going to exit the body. All right, now there's another surgery. That was called the colostomy, and it was called a colostomy because it was located in the colon. If this surgery was done in the small intestines, it could be called an ileostomy because of the section of the small intestine it's done in, the ileum. All right, now notice with the ileostomy, you have no more connection from your small intestine to your large intestine. This is very important because remember the large intestine drank for you? Well, it's not there to drink for you anymore. So the stomach and the small intestine, they're gonna have to work overtime to keep this person from getting dehydrated. But the surgery for an ileostomy is done the same way as the colostomy. The doctor separates the small intestine on the outside of the body. Again, he'll make a small incision. He'll pull it through, he'll fold it over on itself, sew it down, and this is much like the abdomen will appear after surgery. And again, the patient will wear a pouch to collect the stool. This is an ileostomy. Thank you very much.